good morning friends so already we have discussed in class that today we want to solve the gala paper solution for set 1 for basic maths we want to solve section a so we know that we have a b c and d four sections are there out of four section the section a carry 24 marks so 24 marks is important related with the board and all are objective types so mostly we have seen that student has got less mark in objective so my target is that i want to explain the objective question section a that is 1 to 24 again today gala paper set number 1 in paper set number 1 we are discussing the section a uh, 24 marks now according to the board rules we have get 80 marks paper with three overs it means for one marks for one marks we get approximately 2.25 minutes so if you have 24 marks 24 marks again 80 marks paper is there so if you divide 80 marks by 180 minutes 3 overs is given to you so divided by 2 that is 4 divided by 2 that is 9 so 4 by 9 4 ratio 9 so one ratio we can say 2.25 so that is why for one marks always remember for one marks you have get 2.25 minutes so when 25 marks paper is there 24 marks paper section a if you do it fastly you will save your time for b c and d section if you want to save your time then you have to do as soon as possible fast then you will get more time on b c and d section so start from first that is question number 1 22 by 7 is an irrational number so why we have say it is not a irrational it's not a irrational or we can say it is a rational the question is 22 by 7 is a irrational number we can say false why because we cannot represent in p upon q form 20 by 22 by 7 is a again <coughs> question number 1 22 by 7 is an irrational number so that is we can say false question number 2 here yeah. you have to write points now question number 2 sum of the greater sum of the zeros of the quadrant polynomial p of x is equal to x square plus 5x plus 4 is greater than the product of zeros so first of all what we have to write sum of zeros sum of zeros that is minus b by a and product of zeros product of zeros that is c by a now minus b by a so here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 4 so minus 5 minus 5 sum of zeros is minus 5 and product of zeros is 4 so question is it is greater but it is not possible minus 5 is not greater than 4 minus 5 is less than 4 so again we can say answer is false false so question number 
Again, in question number 2, we say the answer is false. Again, your answer is false. Again, your answer is false. Now, what is the first term of AP? Already, first term of AP is 7. First term of AP is 7. So, here, the first term of AP, again, the first term of AP is 7. But here, that given 4. It means it is also false. We can say it is also false. Now, next. Put sin square theta plus cos square theta. It's identity. Sin square theta plus cos square theta. It's identity. So answer is one. Sin square theta plus. So we can say it is true. So here again false. First, second, third false, and fourth we can say true. Now fifth median. So median is equal to 3 mod minus 2 mean. Fifth, again it is 4. Because we know that z is equal to 3m minus 2x bar. That is our formula. Mod is equal to 3 times median minus 2 times mean. So here they given median is equal to 3 into mod. So it is again we can say false. Now, question number 6, that is answer is 1. So, question number 6 again, 10, 7, 10, 47 degree upon cot 43 degree, answer is 1. So, already in 8 standard, uh, in uh, chapter number 8, uh, complementary angles, that is exercise 8.3. For 8.2. So 1047 I have to write as it is. And here instead of quote I have to write 10. And in bracket write 90 minus 43. So 1047 degree upon 1047 degree. So if you will do numerator denominator cancellation. Answer is always 1. Mostly students are doing some mistake. Those who have a. Weak basic math is weak, they can write 0. But numerator denominator is answer is always 1. So, mostly question 1, 2, 6, we have uh, exp uh, understand it properly. When you are doing objective 24 marks, um, you will improve your basic maths and knowledge. Why? Because we are using the fundamental basic rules maths. Now, we go for next, that is question number 7. Here, yeah, 4 is the greatest number integer divisible by 97. It's a one big topic related it. Always. So, if I will divide all this, I can't get remainder 0. But here, I will get remainder 0. So, it's a chapter number 1 related this sum. But when we are doing more concentrate, you remember it 97. So, if we will do it by 97, then only C we can divide it. So, we are not go deeply on this topic. Now, question number 8. Question number 8, x by 2 is equal to 6 by y is equal to 2. So, I have to find out value of x and value of y. So, if I want to find out value of x, x by 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, x is equal to 4 x by 2 is equal to 2, therefore x is equal to 4. Now 6 by y is equal to 2, therefore 6 by 2 is equal to y. So y is equal to 3. The question is x minus y. So 4 minus 3. Answer is 1. 4 minus 3. Answer is 1. So here we can get answer 1. Now question number 9. In question number 9, the graph of equation 3x plus 5y is equal to 15. 3x plus 5y is equal to 15. And another line which is parallel. So, identity for the parallel 
you have to remember that identity for parallel that is a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 not is equal to c1 upon <coughs> not is equal to c1 upon c2 so when it is possible if i will you will see that if i multiply by 2 i will get 6x plus 10y is equal to 30 so it is not possible because it is with the infinite many solutions so we cannot take b b cannot take b so now b is not possible now again at here if i multiply by 3 if i multiply by 3 i will get 9x plus 15y is equal to 45 so again it is infinite solution so i can't take it so now only remain 2 5x plus 3y and 12x minus 20y now concentrate at here that is important not is equal to 1 by 2 so only here possible if i will convert into 12x plus 20y is equal to 0 now if i will compare this equation with this equation i will follow this rule a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 not is equal to c1 upon c2 so answer is d now question number 10 value of the discrement so everyone know that discrement d is equal to b square minus 4ac it is related with the chapter number 4 so we know what is the value of a value of a is equal to 1 value of 5 and value of c is equal to 5 put it here d is equal to b square minus 4ac so 5 square minus 4 into 1 into 5 so 25 minus 20 answer is 5 so value of d is 5 so we can get 5 now important sometimes someone don't know how to minus it someone 25 minus 20 they are right 5 but they are right answer minus 5 that is wrong minus 5 we cannot write it because letter sign is positive so we have to write plus 5 i hope you have understood all the sum 1 to 10 properly now we go for the still next 11 now try to give me answer of this it yourself i think it is easy i will help the student to get answer here it is x comma y here it is 0 comma 0 now simplify this formula what you will get answer and comment your answer in chat box x1 minus x2 all to square plus y1 minus y2 all to square so already distance from the origin origin is always 0 0 origin is always 0 0 so we can get answer at here x square plus y square because x1 I will take 0 minus x1 all to square 0 by 0 minus y all to square so answer is x square plus y square it's a formula remember that when distance from the origin answer must be under root x square plus y square now many students don't know the basic maths what they are doing the mistake when under root x square plus y square we cannot write we cannot write answer x plus y we cannot write it but if if x square plus y square whole to square is there then we can write x square plus y square i am explaining the basic maths rules so mostly students are doing the mistake that is why answer is only x square plus y square now next for infinite arithmetic pro progression with n terms the first term is a and the last term is l then sum of all terms so already we know the formula sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l 
So you will see that where it is that you have to find out your self. So here it is D. So D. Let me see that we are doing some mistake or not. Again, what the question is? Last sum is L and first sum is A. Then sum of whole term. So what I have to write? N by 2 A plus N by 2. So here it is. N by 2 A plus. Here it is look like N but it is A by 2. We have to write N by 2. N by 2 A plus L. So now we go for next. Already it is a formula base. Here it is a formula base. So D1 denotes it's a class size, it's not possible. Mean, it's not possible. What is remaining? Frequency of the model class. So it's easy. No, we have not concentrated too much on this sum. Now, probability of the month of February having five Sunday. That is important for us. So first of all, we know that February man, February month has 31 days. If I will divide it by 7, 7 fours are 28. What is the remainder? 3 days is remaining. So 3 by 7. According to me, 3 by 7 is a answer. Always remember, either it should be 5 Monday, any question, it should be 5 Sunday, 5 Monday, 5 Tuesday, whatever it should be, but your answer must not be changed. It must be 7 by 3. Now, again question number 15. That is, first of all, we have to learn the identity. PE, probability P, event is E, plus its complementary event, that is P E bar, is equal to what? That is the identity. Now, in question what they give P E is equal to 1 minus P E bar. Now compare with it. We are comparing P E is equal to 1 minus 16 upon 31. Now what the question asks to us? What the question? Find out P E bar. So if I compare with P E, the answer is 16 upon 31. So 16 upon 31 is a answer. Now for leap year. So we know that non-leap year has 365 days and leap year has 366 days. So 366 days. Now 53 some days. So if I will divide it by 7 because in every week we know that 7 days are there. So 7 5 are 35, 1 6, 7 2 are 14. How many days are remain? 2 days are remain. So your answer must be 2 by 7. Your answer must be 2 by 7. Always remember. Why? Leap year is there always 366 days. If I will divide it by 7, in each week we have a 7 days. So 52 Sundays are confirmed. 52 Sundays are confirmed. Now 53rd Sunday chances are only 2 days remain. That is I have to write 2 by same. Either 53 Monday question is there. Answer must be same. Either 53 Friday is there. Answer must be same. We cannot change the answer because only 2 days are remaining. Always remember it. Answer must be 2 by 7. Now, <coughs> cubic polynomial x cube minus 10x square plus 31x minus 30. The sum of the product of zeros takes 2. Sum of zeros of 2x, the product of the sum of the product of the zeros. Sum of the products of zeros. Here again, 
if we go deeply then we can get some answer 31 not minus 31 again what we are doing uh, product of sum of the product of zeros taken two at a times then the answer is 31 now again one more sum is left up to 24 we have to go sum of the first n terms of AP if n term of the AP is given so an is equal to 2n plus 1 so if I will write a1 then answer is 3 so first term is equal to 3 question is find the sum of first n term so formula is for n term is equal to a plus l so l means nth term that is l so n by 2 a that is value 3 plus l that is 2n plus 1 so n by 2 2n plus 4 if i will make 2 outside so 2n in bracket n plus 2 upon 2 so your answer that is 2 to cut so answer n n plus 2 so answer n n plus 2 but maybe possible it should be asked in too much question then you have to solve like that now question number 19 it's a logical question logically what we have to say that distance the radii of the two circles are 8 and 12 so if i will do one circle related with the 8 and 12 why i am doing like intersection because center between the two center is 8 15 sorry so here a and b that is given as a 15 degree distance between the center that is 15 and one of the radius is 8 and another is 12 it means they intersect at two points they intersect at two point so answer must be a here we have to write two points now question number 20 so three faces of cuboid meet at vertical of x, y and vertices of x, y and z. Three faces. So let me draw one. We have to draw one cuboid. So So we know that cuboid has here it will be 3 but 6 faces cuboid has 6 faces and 3 faces x, y and z meet at 1 vertex so let me say here vertex 3 faces so 1 is the 1 second and third so you will say that x is equal to rectangle that is l into b y is equal to b into h and z is equal to h into l so three faces so faces all are of rectangle length into breadth breadth into height and height into l now if i will we want to find out the question is volume of cuboid so volume of cuboid formula we know that that is L, B and H. So if you are multiply X, Y, Z, that answer must be X square, L square, B square, H square. Now volume is L into B into H. So 
add a to b into h whole to square x y z. So I want to get value of a into b into h. So that is why under root x y z. So here value of l b h is equal to under root x y n z. That is the answer. I hope you have to write this. This type of sums out of 24 marks MCQ objective questions are there. One or two sums may take your more times. So I hope that you have to write this now. So now for next question. Question number, if the radius of the circle increase by 30%, what percentage will it area increase? So here, radius of circle is increased by 30%. So first of all, I have to write the formula for area of circle. Area of circle formula is pi r. Now 30% radius is increased. So initial radius, initial radius we have to take as a r. Now 30% increase. It means 30% of r. So 30 upon 100 into R. So 0.3 R radius increase. So new radius now. New radius. That is 1 plus 0.3 R. 1 R plus 0. Upon 100 is equal to 0.3 R. So new radius that is 1 R plus 0.3 R that is 1.3 R. Now area of circle that is again pi R square. But here instead of value of R now 1.3 R square. So we can get answer 1.69 pi r square. So area of new circle 1.69 pi r square. Area of original circle is pi r square. Now question is what the percentage increase area. So area increase. Area increase. How much? 1.69 pi r square minus pi r square. So 1.69 pi r square minus pi r square we can get 0 0.69 pi r square now we want to get answer in percentage so to get answer in percentage we have to multiply by 100 so 69 percent area increase of circle so always remember the type of sum is are also uh, useful clear or not again i explain area of circle is pi r square initial radius we can take r 30 percent increase that is 30 percent of r that is 30 upon 100 into r that is 0 0.3 r new radius 1 r plus 0 0.3 r that is 1.3 r Area of circle pi r square, pi into 1.3 r whole to square, 1.69 pi r square. Now area increase, 1.69 pi r square minus pi r square, that is 0 0.9, 0 0.69 pi r square. 0 0.69 I have to convert it to a percentage multiply by 100. Now question number 20. Volume of each cubic set textbook, textual based question is there. In chapter number 13, 13.1 or 13.2 or 13.3, I think in chapter number 13, that type of sums are there. So now, question number, volume of each two cube, 
the volume formula volume of q that is l q now it is given l q is equal to given as a 8 so we can say l is equal to 2 centimeter now when two cube join together it will be converted into a cuboid if i will join two cube it will be converted into a cuboid why because length will be changed if you will draw two now again one more cube is there if we join this then length is converted into 4 cm. Height is as it is. Height is as it is 2 cm. Breadth is also as it is 2 cm. So length is 4 cm, height is 2 cm and breadth is 2 cm. Now what I have to find out? Total surface area of cuboid. So formula is 2 into AB plus BH plus HL. It's a 9th standard formula. In 9th standard we already learn this formula. Now we have to put all the values related L into B that is 8, B into H that is 4, H into L that is 8. So 8, 8, 16 plus 4, 20 into 2. So 2 into 20 that is 40. But the unit always here it is cube but here we are find out area. So areas has always unit centimeter square. So, centimeter square is the answer. I hope you have also understand this now. Now, question number 23. Now, in question number 23, mostly, so the student, if you will see the answer, they, if four options are there, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So mostly write the answer because of this only one they write the answer. But it is incorrect. Why? Let me explain. Whenever you see the type of question P of X is there. Y is equal to P of X is there. On that time you have to see that in X axis how many points are intersects when y is equal to p of x here the question is changed it will be changed into x is equal to p o y so what you have to see you have to see in the y axis not x axis so if you will see the y axis how many points are there 1 2 3 and 4 that is why answer again say to you that is why answer is 4 there is a difference between this and this if y is equal to p of x we have to see the x axis but here x is equal to p y of is there so we have to see the y axis I hope you have also understand it. Please. Now, last question. Afterward, we uh, then later in next YouTube video, we go for section B. Now, question is find the area of the square inscribed in a circle with radius 8 centimeter. What the question is? Find the area of square square inscribed in a circle. So we have to draw one circle. Now radius is given that is 8. Now if I will join this a, B and O here it is 90 degree. Now radius is given as a 8, 8. So by applying we can find out side. 
everybody know the area of square formula area of square formula is side square that is ab square so if i will find out with your ab square we can get answer that is ab square is equal to by applying pythagoras 8 whole to square and 8 whole to square so 64 plus 64 that is 128 so ab square is equal to 128 already that is answer and your right centimeter square so 128 centimeter square is the answer so 24 marks weightage and each has one marks mostly you will see that from 19, 20, 21 and 24 type of sums on that time we are consume more time so do it the smart work and you have already in your question sheet uh, rough side is there so you have to do the rough at there so you will get proper answer I hope I, I think you have to write this also now so already I have complete 1 to 24 sums still you have a some doubt related 1 to 24 explanation you can comment in my video I can explain it in next video so stay with us for section B I also request to all the students those who like this please subscribe our school channel thank you